What's going on everybody? Hope you're doing well. Liam here from Teal and today let's talk about your resume and some ChatGPT prompts you can use to soup it up a bit. We'll go over four examples of the types of prompts you can use and linked down in the description below the like button is a Teal blog post with lots more prompts you can try out. Some of them are just slight variations on what you'll see today. Others are more specific prompts addressing more specific targets. So go check out the blog post, try out some of the other prompts. But one note we always like to mention whenever we talk about ChatGPT and AI writing is you always want to use the results as a starting point. Some some of the results are extremely good, but even still your resume and other application material, you want to make sure the results are accurate, of course, but also personable. So drop in some language that you yourself use. And once again, use the results as a starting point, not the end point. So with that out of the way, let's do it. The first prompt we're actually going to try today is creating an entire resume from scratch. There is an explanation around this. We'll get to that in a minute. But for this, we do need a job description to base our resume around. And we have one saved here in our teal job tracker ready to go. The first First prompt we're going to try is write a resume based on this title position at company and include bullet point achievements that show impact and metrics. We obviously have our job description over here. So let's copy in the title, change out that placeholder right there. And we also know the company GitLab. So let's copy that in as well. All right. With this looking good, what we want to do is just go ahead and hit enter since it's not referencing anything. The results are going to write out. All righty. And with that, we have our completed resume. Now, like I said, this does warrant a bit of an explanation. I bet some people are looking at this going, are we really expected to just use this resume outright? And no, no, not even kind of. The whole idea behind this resume and the intention behind it is that now you have a fully completed resume tailored for this job description that you're looking at that you can use to reference as you write your own. You can look at the chat GPT results and see things like how it's laid out. Obviously, we have our contact information at the top, followed by a professional summary. Then because we're into our career, we have work experience at the top, then below it, our education and then below that our skills section certifications if you have any go for it towards the bottom for sure references available upon request I would say that you can just leave that out entirely now what's the value behind this resume what can we take away from this as we write our own well the first thing you can take a look at is how the achievements are framed if we look at this top achievement here developed and implemented comprehensive go-to market strategies for five software products resulting in an average 35% increase in market share within the first year that is an achievement that next to no one will probably exactly relate to. But what you can look at is the structure of this achievement. We have developed and implemented at the top. These are action verbs, comprehensive go-to market strategies. That's kind of the what we're working on, resulting in an average 35% increase. That's our success metric within the first year. And then that's our timeline for how long everything took. That is a very good framework that you can use as you write your own resume. You'll notice all of our achievements have success metrics and show value. That's something we specified in our prompt, but that's absolutely something that you want to do as you write your achievement. And if we scroll down to the skills section here in our chat GPT results, obviously lots of people are going to have more skills than this. But the idea is that these are the top hard skills that an employer is going to be looking for. Feel free to add more if they do apply to the job you are applying for, but you want to keep it really relevant and you want to keep it highest impact possible. This is a pretty darn good looking resume from chat GPT. So nicely done. And again, this is a starting point. Use this as a reference as you write your own resume. Don't just copy and submit it because, well, that's just not going to go well. But now say we already have a resume ready to go that we've worked on and that we like. The next prompt we wanna try is helping us tailor our current resume to better match a job description. Our job description this time around is a data analyst in marketing. And our prompt this time is gonna be, here's my current resume. How would you rewrite it if you were applying to this title role at company? Include metrics in the achievements. Let's go ahead and copy in our title and the company name. Then after the prompt, go down a couple lines and what you wanna do is copy in your existing resume. Go down a couple more lines and and then copy in the job description. Then hit run, go grab a snack and come back. And with that, we have our rewritten resume. That's a mouthful. So what we wanna do next is compare our new resume to our existing resume here on the right. Because our existing resume is for a marketing manager, we probably will see a lot of overlapping material. But what we're looking out for is some of the language and again, responsibilities specifically listed in our job description showing up in our new resume. Our top achievement here under our latest marketing position is led data-driven digital campaigns that increased brand awareness by 25% and customer engagement by 30%. If we ask ourselves, does that align with what they're looking for? I think that answer is gonna be a yes. Obviously increased brand awareness and customer engagement are huge success metrics for any kind of company. And the new results specifically calling out data-driven digital campaigns does reflect what they're looking for, which is gonna to be to analyze marketing campaign performance. That's a bit of the back and forth that you wanna do looking at the new results from ChatGPT and looking at the job description. What we wanna do now is we wanna copy this achievement from ChatGPT. If we scroll down 
here in our resume builder. Let's edit this top achievement here that it's clearly rewriting. Hit edit. We're going to highlight the whole thing and just delete it. And we're going to paste in our new achievement. One thing to note before we save, we just want to make sure that one, this is accurate, especially in the number metrics, 25% brand awareness and customer engagement up by 30. That is something that was pulled from our existing resume. So we're going to go ahead and save because that looks great. Take that method through the rest of your existing resume, comparing it to the new ChatGPT results. And especially down here in the skills section, that's a great place where we grabbed a lot of really nice keywords from our job description. Under the you have, it says strong SQC skills are a requirement. We do have that listed here. And ideally, if possible, we want to work that somewhere into our achievements. But if it's not applicable anywhere in our work experience, no worries. We can leave that down here in skills. Our next prompt that we want to try out is going to be writing effective resume achievements. You're probably familiar with the term resume bullets. We at TL like to call them resume achievements because instead of rewriting just your responsibilities that you had in a job, these bullets are all about showing your accomplishments or achievements, as we like to say. In these achievements, you want to show value and your experience and how your experience can apply to whatever job you're applying to. So in ChatGPT, you want to use the following prompt. Write four resume achievements with metrics based on the following job responsibilities. Then after that, you want to go to the job description for the job you're applying for. You could grab just the responsibility section of a job description, but if you have the whole thing, it's a good idea to grab it all. So let's copy our job description back in ChatGPT. We're going to paste it in and hit run. All right, let's take a look at the results. Two things to note right off the top, all of our achievements do have metrics, which we did specify, so that's great to see. And these items in bold here, it looks like they're the keywords of what our achievements are emphasizing, which is also great to see because one of the ideas behind specific achievements and tailoring your resume to a job description is you wanna show that your experience does apply to what they're specifically looking for. So let's take a look at this top achievement here. We're looking at performance analysis and business growth. Our achievement is led the analysis of over 200 marketing campaigns, uncovering actionable insights that led to 25% increase in customer acquisition and a 30% growth in customer lifetime value year over year. That is a heck of an achievement. Now, like we said at the beginning with AI writing, you want to use these results as a starting point. If this achievement 100% applies to the career experience and a career achievement that you do have, well, that's fantastic, but more than likely you will have to adjust something of this achievement. So now if we go back to our resume here on the right and scroll down to our work history, under our most recent position, let's go ahead and add an achievement. Let's copy the results from ChatGPT, paste them over into our resume, and now let's make some of the edits that we need to. Just as a point of example, here, let's go ahead and change our number of marketing campaigns to 75, which is what we actually had. Insights that led to a 25% increase in customer acquisition, that is correct, and a 30% growth in customer lifetime value year over year, that's actually 40% for us. And this achievement is something that is actually accurate. We're going to go ahead and hit save. Our achievement automatically turns on within our resume. And now back on the left in ChatGPT, just looking at the other three achievements that were generated, detected and resolved critical data anomalies and campaign performance metrics. That is a direct direct call out to one of the responsibilities here on the right to investigate the root causes of data anomalies and trends. So good on ChatGPT for putting that into action. That is what this whole prompt is about. It's going to take the responsibilities and take what it finds in the job description, turn them into achievements, because ultimately that's what the employer is going to be looking for. The company is setting out with a set of responsibilities in mind to give to you. And if your achievements can effectively show that you have positive experience in executing on those responsibilities, well, that is a huge win for you. So go through the rest of the ChatGPT achievement if you need to generate more, obviously feel free. Compare the results to what you see in the responsibility section of the job description. Take what you can as far as what your experience can apply to. Work them into your resume. Make sure to adjust and edit anything for accuracy's sake, and you're going to be in a great spot with your achievements. The final ChatGPT prompt we're going to use to spruce up our resume is to write a new professional summary. A professional summary is that little paragraph there at the top of our resume, and what it is is a bit of a career intro. In just a few short sentences, you can sum up the rest of your resume, your career as a whole, and touch on some of your career highs with notable accomplishments. Bonus tip, whatever you put here also works as a great LinkedIn about section. Our prompt is going to be based on my resume below, write a professional summary that includes metrics and total years of experience and keep it shorter than 500 characters. Let's go down a couple lines over on our resume. We're going to highlight the whole thing here, minus our personal information at the top. We're going to copy that paste it over in ChatGPT, hit go and let the results write out. And now let's take a look at the results. Right here at the top, thank you ChatGPT, we have years of experience. We have some of our top keyword skills listed. We have a whole number of success metrics, that's huge, and it's a great length. If this information from ChatGPT is 100% accurate, which it likely is because it's referencing directly to your resume, if there's any AI writing that you can really just copy and paste, this would be one of them. You can highlight the whole thing from ChatGPT, copy back here on the right in our resume builder, we 
can go down to professional summaries. We want to keep this one handy, so we're going to uncheck it, but add a professional summary, copy in and paste the results from ChatGPT. Again, just make sure the information here is accurate. If you want to add or take away anything, obviously you're more than welcome to. Just make sure it's not too long. You can see here, this comes in at 532 characters, but I think that's going to be okay. So let's go ahead and save our professional summary automatically toggles on. Let's scroll back up and look at that. That looks very nice. And so that, ladies and gentlemen, is four ChatGPT prompts you can use to spruce up your resume and just make it that much better. Again, use the results as a starting point. Make sure they are accurate. Make sure they are personable because the ultimate goal of a resume is not to just relist what the job description says. You want to have as much related to it as possible. But the goal of your resume is to sell your career experience and your value and your skills that when you see a job that you're like, I like that job, you want this company to know that you are the best person for this position. Well, thank you so much for your time today. We hope you enjoyed yourself. Drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more content. And if you're not familiar with the Teal platform, check out the links below to get started. Thank you again. See you again soon.